What's up everyone? Jordan and Adam here with Complete Geek TV and today we're going to test the top four SSDs for the PlayStation 5. Let's get right into it. Alright, so we got these here. Um, let's just get started right away. We've got Elden Ring um, pulled up and we're just gonna hit it and see how long it takes each one to go from home yep. screen to the game being open and ready to ready to play. All right, we got so. the contestants going on. We got the right. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Ready, yep. set, go. All right, so right off it's the bat, neck it neck. is interesting neck that they kind of you can almost see you can see it kind of fluctuate just right from the hit. Yep. You know. Um, okay, so looks like Samsung Man, those were, those won that one. Very. That close. was very close. Let's back that up just a little so we can see for sure, for sure. Hey guys, um, we're gonna keep points total so on this go. just to frame see by frame. who actually is considered the winner. So we definitely got we got Samsung as number one. All right. WD Black is number two. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Wow, this is like really. Oh, Fire Cuda is number three, and the Corsair is number Ooh. four. So we're gonna award points for each of these for each test, and see who wins at the end. Yeah. All right. So, Adam, you got that written down? Got up? it. Let's do it. All right. Now let's see how long it takes Horizon Forbidden West. To, to open up from home screen. So ready? And go. Oh, I don't... Oh, oh yeah. okay. Okay. You guys, we're going to be honest with you. We had a lot of fun. That like, was putting a this... very... That's, this is very interesting. I like this one because it has to go through all oh, of yeah, this. Yeah, there's a lot of cycles. Yeah. All right. Ooh, uh, another close. Ooh, okay. So WD Black definitely lost on that one. So this one, man, if you're going frame by frame here, uh huh, that's right. Corsair on. and Samsung are naked. It's it's hard to say which one is a winner. Let's just keep going. Let's give them both a, a one Oof. on that. Okay. I mean, there really isn't like a. It's hard to say which is which on that one. That's so close. Um, I mean, and then obviously Fire Coot is next because we saw how long it took the WD Black. All right, so <sighs> this next test. Um, we're actually doing the exact same test twice because we were wondering, is it going to? Yeah, are all, we, are all yeah. of these going to win the exact same time overall, mm -hmm. or is there is there going to be a difference if we do the exact same test twice? So here it is again, mm -hmm. that exact same test, and it looks like we already have some differences, maybe. But we're most I mostly just want to judge when it hits the home screen, you know, or the or the title screen. Yeah, I mean. it's just because it's like. As you guys will see, we get a lot of interesting results ooh, through ooh, this. Ooh, ooh, that was different. That was different. Okay, we go frame by frame. Seagate wins that one, so Seagate gets one. That's interesting. The same test twice, and Seagate won that time. Uh, Samsung, Samsung and Fire Cuda again, or not Samsung and Corsair? I mean, uh, are literally identical. Um, and then WD Black lost that one again. WD. It's all right, guys. He's, he's going to get redemption. All right. Uh, so let's jump to Final Fantasy VII Remake, <sighs> the PlayStation 5 version. And go. If I remember, I felt like this one was the fastest of any game. That was extremely quick. I have no idea which one won. Let's back that up. Okay. Uh, and as you can tell, though, does it really Samsung, make a difference okay. here? This Probably one, not. This one is purchase. close, too, but Samsung is definitely ahead. So let's go Samsung 1, uh, WD Black 2, WD is in second on this one, Corsair in third, and Fire Cuda is fourth. Fire Cuda was last on that one. All right, so this next one, I think this is one of the most interesting ones. Um, I don't really understand why, because I know that Borderlands 3 was originally a PlayStation 4 game, and this is the PS5 version. But it just takes um, a long time to load. This is this takes by far yeah out of all the ones we've tested than any of them um, by a lot. Yep. So let's just I mean let's just do it and see what happens here. And this one's really interesting because you can actually watch the uh, like as it goes. I mean look at that. Fire Cuda took a is taking a much longer time to get to that. But does it get to the home screen quicker? Yeah, it's pretty far behind compared it's, to the other ones. Yeah, it's very far behind to start off with. Um, and what's really interesting is to see this little guy walk across right mm -hmm. here, you know? Um, it's you fun know, watching the two race each other on I top and bottom. I feel like WD Black is actually <laughs> ahead at the moment. 
No, Samsung popped up here first. That's close. For sure. That's close. All right, let's see what happens when it comes to the home screen. Or the title screen. I keep calling it home screen. I think it was the Samsung. That was the Samsung, I'm pretty sure. All right, so we're going to back that up just a little to, to double check. Yeah. And frame by frame, it is the Samsung. Samsung is one. Samsung's dominating right now. WD is two. Okay. Uh, Corsair three. Corsair is three. Firecuda four. Firecuda four. Okay. All right. Man, this is just, this is getting interesting. Yeah. The Samsung is uh, holding its own right before now. Before we even do the next test, I mean, I don't know the exact numbers, but I'm almost I'm almost 100% sure that Firecuda is in last at the moment. Are, would you say that might be true? Yeah, just because it has the it most has the fours most force. right now. Um, Firecuda is the most expensive of all of these. By a pretty wide margin. By a, by a decent amount, and yeah. it claims the highest speeds out of all of them. Yeah. So this is really interesting that it's losing. Um, all right, so now what we're going to do um, is load, just go to continue game in the same exact spot here with the with yep. Borderlands as well to see yep. how long it takes to actually load a load a save file, right? All right, so let's go. <laughs> and what do you know? Oh, okay. Someone wants to show up now, okay. show up to the party. Man, all right, hold on. Clearly, okay, Fire Cluda really won that one. Um, the Fire Cluda is all about the marathon, okay? It's not, it's not how it starts out, it's finish it. So Fire Cluda definitely was faster Yep. Um, with that one. Um, then Corsair, second? Is that right, no. or is that last? Oh. Man, that once again. Those are tied, yeah. That's a, there, there's no way. So that, that, Samsung, two and two. Yeah, that's exact. And then so, Corsair, yeah, two four. And two. Or Corsair, three, you mean? Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. So now let's do one more. This is testing going from one area of the map to another in Borderlands, which again took longer than almost any other game we tried. The other other games, like we tried Elden Ring, we tried mm -hmm. um, Final Fantasy and Horizon and all of that, and like they were instant. It almost wasn't even worth showing. Yeah, they were all no, just like so quick, you clicked the continue button or you went from Three one map, seconds. one sec, one part of the map to the yep. other, and it was just like boom. Yep. Like there was no, there's not even worth showing. This one actually took some time, so uh, let's go. Yeah, do better explain. We're basically showing you what's worth showing. Yeah. The other stuff was so quick, and there's, there's like, really no point. It was, it almost was all a tie. Yep. Once again, once again, Fire Cuda wins on actually loading a portion, like a different portion of the map from mm -hmm. one section of the map to another. Um, and it was the same thing. We're tied again. Which is the weird. It's making me think. The Fire Cuda is faster when it comes Ooh. to loading in-game stuff. The other ones seem to be faster at loading the game itself. Did you see Corsair took second this time, though, instead of third? Really? Look. Okay. So, boom. We got Fire Cuda. Oh, never mind. It's last nope, again. Nope. Just it's kidding. last again. Nope. Uh, WD Black. That's actually really interesting. That Samsung and the WD, once again, are perfectly tied. Mm -hmm. when it, so, there is some consistencies with this. We're loading yeah, portions that's, of that's the map. Interesting. So I would say Fire Cuda is faster when it comes to loading a portion of the map. At least on Borderlands. Yeah. Um, so. And then we've got one more test. Um, this is Elden Ring. And, and like we said, these happen so fast, but we wanted to at least show you one where it's going a game, into the game uh, it's versus a, the it's a loading brand screen. new game. I mean, this is about the newest game you can possibly test right now. Mm -hmm. um, and this is going from the title screen continuing to the exact same point. Yep. Um, with all four drives. It's your first checkpoint in the game. And it's... Well, when you go outside. I mean, and that that's all so way close. Way too close. I don't yeah. even know what would... I mean, you could literally almost call them all the time, but there is... Uh, let's see. There is definitely a winner here. The w WD oh, wins. Oh, wow. Finally. WD was the winner here. First, first place. All right. Uh, yeah, it looks like Fire Cuda second. Uh-huh. Samsung third. Corsair is last. I think with those last few tests, Corsair might have jumped to last place on it's, this one. It's been in last pretty consistently. It has tonight. been in last yeah. pretty consistently? Yep. Okay. Okay. So, based on that, let's let's add this all up. In fourth place, we've got the Corsair with 23. In third place, we've got the Fire Cuda with 18. Mm. We've got the WD with 17 points. Okay, and the Samsung close. with a commanding lead of, of 13. 13. Wow, um, Samsung. That it's crazy because 
They don't just call it a pro for nothing. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. No, it actually, it, it's, a, it's a great showing, though. So I think, I, I don't know if we would have, I, I already knew it was a great SSD. I just don't know if I would have predicted that, but. No, I wouldn't have yeah. predicted that either. I would have, I would have guessed that it was either the Fire Cuda or the Corsair just simply because on their boxes, that's how they, say they list the, yeah. the highest read up speed. Two. Yeah, yeah, the up two is a, is a important I know. <laughs> it there, really apparently. is. Um, but yeah, no. They, Sometimes we do. And those two are the most expensive. Yep. So that, that, that leads us into this guy. And they were both the two last yeah i know <laughs> that's our point is that so we just think you know we bought this out of our own pocket just to like we thought this would be fun and be informative but at the end of the day if we were doing this again and just getting two for ourselves i think we agree that we would just do the ch the cheapest out of these yeah right i mean yeah. that like if one's on sale for hundred dollars cheaper out of, out of the bunch even i mean even though we had a winner to this contest yeah. For most situations, they were all so, so fast yeah. that I'm sure you guys I wouldn't agree. be, I'd be happy with e any of them. And like I said, if there's one that's compatible, meaning it's over 5,500 megabytes a second, which is what PlayStation recommends, and it's on sale, and you're looking for one, I'd say do it, because they, they seem to all run pretty well. Yeah, it's very close. Um, but anyways. Uh, we've got some more videos video. coming out. Yeah. Uh, so one we're really excited about. This is uh, an SSD we found on Amazon. This is the cheapest compatible yeah. SSD we could find, meaning it claims 55 megabytes a second. And uh, we're gonna test this against these as well. So we'll have that video yep. coming very soon because I'm really curious, will this hold its own? Yeah, I know, it's good stuff. We did want to say that we will be giving this away. The WD Black. Second place winner. To one of you guys. Two terabytes. So yeah. we'll be doing a giveaway. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We'll announce when the giveaway is happening through our YouTube community post. So you can't see that unless you're subscribed to the channel. Yep. So make sure you're subscribed. Um, if you want to be entered into the giveaway, all you got to do is like this video. Obviously be subscribed. Um, and then comment down in the comments saying, please enter me into the giveaway. Mm -hmm. Or something, something to that extent. Um, and yeah, and we'll do a live stream. We'll let you guys battle it out. If you've seen our live streams before and how we do giveaways, that'll make sense. If you haven't, then you'll see on that night. Oh no, he's gone! Oh, Dr. Mario's gone! Sonic for the win! Oh, they're going, they're going, they're going. Wait, number five! With the smallest car! Oh, well, uh, Peach. Yeah. <laughs> oh! oh Dragon Gamer! Yeah, it's a fun little uh, game show. So, yeah, for a two terabyte WD Black for your PS5. So this is a pretty, yeah. pretty sweet deal. Hey, and if you don't have a PS5, this works in your PC as well. There you go. That's and it's true. a ridiculously fast drive. It is. So yeah, make sure you're watching for the community posts so you see when that goes live. And we really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.